everyone and welcome to Behind the Nail Pros for the November issue. Today we have Kirsty Meekin here from the UK to do our set of nails. Welcome. Thank you. It's such a pleasure to have you. You do such amazing work. We've been seeing you in all the competitions worldwide and winning and your work is amazing. So we're so excited to have you do the cover nails for us. I'm even more excited to be here. So we talked about different themes and how did you come up with this style of nail? In my family we're really into uh, Volkswagens and Beetles and drag racing and the ladies, especially in America, are like pinups. They dress like pinups all the time, it's like a way of life. And especially at the moment, pinups are really big, like the burlesque kind of pinup and everything like that. So I just thought it was something that was really now. It'd be really interesting to work something with that kind of theme, so it, it, it excites me. Tell us a little bit how you began. I prepped the nails, um, I fitted a nail form, a really long nail form, it's like a triple XL one, and then I did the nail bed first and extended it out, then I laid in a dark black uh, with glitter in it different powders and basically mishmashed lots of different coloured glitters but very dark and deep and then added some red and some pink just to bring out the red and the outfit that the model's going to be wearing. You built the nails into a stiletto shape and you started with the black around the smile line and sort of built it out but then you started piling on the different colours on top. Was there any rhyme or reason to that or is it just whatever it, you felt like doing? Yeah, it's 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 supposed to be like a mishmash of colours, so different colours pop out. They're quite dark, there's blues in there and reds in there. But they were actually to bring out the sides as well, because from the top it looks like a stiletto. But from the side it looks like an edge. There's no spine or anything like that, so it's like a combo nail. So you've got a combination of a stiletto and an edge. Which is very cool, and we've never done anything like that on the cover before. How do you build the acrylic to get that shape? It's all about the form fit. So you put the form on and you fit it as if it's going to be a stiletto. And then you bring it out to the full length of the actual form and then drop down the sides and actually sculpt the shape with your brush as you're laying on the design. Once you finished with the extension, then what did you do? I then encapsulated all the colours in clear powder, liquid and powder. And then once that started to set up, pinched it. So the end of the actual nail is nearly completely closed. So it's very, very pinched and very tight, very extreme. How do you make sure you get that super tight pinch? It's, again, it's all about the form fit and I actually go in with a pinching tool and pinch it. So it's all about the form fit and actually pinching it while it's setting. And you also have to work very thin when you're applying the mm. colours because if you're going to encapsulate the whole thing in a clear acrylic, you don't want yeah. the nails to be really thick and bulky. Yeah, yeah. Definitely, and um, the way that I put the form on as well, um, you actually get a really dramatic side wall. If you put the form on and left it closed at the back, so it was completely closed as it does, when you take it off the form, it's like that already. If you just put it straight on the nail like that, it wouldn't have the dramatic side wall. So if you notice when I actually put the form on, it kicks up. So it looks like the nail's actually gonna scoop up, but it actually doesn't. It actually, the very end of the form and the cuticle area are in exactly the same line. And this is how you need to fit it to get this dramatic side wall, but also to get it coming straight out, not scooping up or scooping down. So this is interesting to know that applying the form is just as important as sculpting the nail. Yeah, yeah, it is, yeah. It's the foundation. Once you coated the nails with the clear, then you filed them. Yeah, I took the form off and then I filed it and shaped it. I started with the electric file and then finished with a hand file and buffed it and then glazed it with a UV gel top coat and then I could work on the rest of the, the design. So the design you put on top was white acrylic? Yes, it was. Yeah. And you made it look sort of like it was the holes where the laces would go through in a corset. Yeah, 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 How so did you create this? So what I did was, for the main part of the corset, I just used white liquid and powder um, to get the shape. And then I used a dotting tool to carve out the little holes where the laces would go. And then I added um, detail of frills around the top of the corset. But for this, I used half acrylic and half acetone. Oh. So I used that mix with a design brush, so I, basically it sets up quicker. The product sets up quicker. Mm. So you make like a little long sausage. 
kind of shape and then you press backwards and forwards and then you get this kind of frill like a little wave so I added that detail and then added the lace and then I added some bling with Swarovski crystals what did you use to adhere the Swarovski crystals to the nail? I used UV gel top coat. I didn't want to use glue because if you use glue or resin, if you touch it, you get the prints of your fingers and it's a little fiddly. So basically, around the smile line, I used the brush to apply the UV gel top coat. And then with the UV gel top coat, put a little dot on the end of the dotting tool to help me pick up the stones and then place them onto the UV gel top coat which is wet so it sticks to it and then cured, cured it. So set it in the lamp and then there's nothing on top of the crystal so you actually get the true shine of this rosy crystal. If you go over the top with the top coat or UV gel top coat you sort of you diminish it slightly so mm -hmm. they, we just wanted them to be extremely shiny. And the final step was doing the laces. Yeah. So I used liquid and powder again. Um, I used the mix of the acetone and the liquid so it set up quicker and it wasn't going to melt and run in to any of the design. I could control it a lot easier. So I just basically did like a little thin sausage and kept, kept making it thinner and thinner and thinner and neater and neater with the side of my design brush. So you use the same amount of acetone as you would monomer when you're yeah, doing this? Yeah. Thank you so much for coming in to do these nails. They're just gorgeous and obviously all the time that it took really shows because they're beautiful. Thank you, thank you. And it's been an absolute pleasure to be here. And we'd love to have you back anytime you're out here, so... I will come back. Come back. <laughs> I want to come back. I want a full-time position. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see what we can do. <laughs> Thanks again, Kirsty. Thank you.